Hello guys, welcome to my video. Mm. I uh, I don't have so much light here in my in my room at the moment. It's so sunny outside, um, and uh, if I turn on the yeah, if I turn on the lights, it's uh, yeah, um, not working. I don't know. Um, I'm turning on this video because I just wanted to share with you something really, really continue to share with you something really profound. And beautiful. Do you ever really ask yourself, like, what is freedom? What is freedom? And freedom from what construct, construct, or concept of who I think I am? And and um, you know, like, these are the people. Like, I share with the people who like recognize that there is. If you recognize there's some time in your life where you felt like you were like two different people, and like you're you're, you know, like you have two different voices in your head. And if you don't know that you have voices in your head, <laughs> you probably don't want to listen to this because um, when you recognize that you have voices in your head, you start to become really, really curious about them or you're controlled by them. First, you're controlled by them and they really believe, you really believe the voices in your head that tell you that um, this is good, this is bad, you judge this, judge that. And all of these um, agreements that you make up with yourself, that's your voice that is talking because that's the ego the ego voice and the voice that tells you also that you're inferior, you're superior, you're fabulous, they like it, they don't like it, um, people, uh, judging people, labeling people, first instant when you meet them, how your ideas go with their ideas, do you like them, do you don't like them, all during the day we're having all these thousands and thousands of thoughts and I think that you know the voice that talks to you responds and it's so close to us that we don't even realize that we have this these voices most some people who are living on automatic pilot and all that's really good because it's like yeah if that's when people people are making choices regardless if they're not it's like some are on automatic and some people are not perhaps I don't know but what I can just say is that I think for myself I really um, uh, really became very, very interested and curious about my, my little voice in my head that would tell me things. And, you know, I, I share this with you a lot, so um, I'm going to share it with you again. But I just really believe that when I recognize that in, in my meditations, I've done meditations all over over my lifetime, and um, and I've done techniques, and I've done, you know, and dancing is also, dancing is also a form of meditation. So um, sometimes I was in my mind, and sometimes I wasn't in my mind, and living from my mind, and and um, and it's all it's so interesting how you relate so much to this concept of who you think you are. You, you live your life, you're like, I am this, I am that, I am male, I am female, I am good, I'm, 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 um, I'm. Um, good looking, I'm not good looking, I'm ugly, my body isn't good enough, all this kind of, most of it, most of it, most of it is negative thinking and I think narcissism also is, is, is because of insecurity and that creates, you inflate the ego and we know a lot of people like this and that's, that's, that's very interesting to recognize and you ask yourself, how, how do everyone, or I do, like, like, are there, I'm telling you, there be, can come, become a time when you ask yourself all these questions because, you know, you are feeling your, your thoughts and your emotions are, you just kind of get at one point really exhausted from these emotions and the up and down are, are no, let me rephrase that. You are you're believing your thoughts and your emotions and your thoughts create more of an emotional state regardless from sad to happy to negative to positive polarized things all these things your mind is creating all those things and when you realize that everything your mind is creating is illusional and when you really recognize that and that is so interesting because it's so close to you so so close to you the part your essence not your ego the essence that recognizes that oh i'm angry now Oh, I'm crying now. Oh, what does he think about me crying or she or they or oh, I'm so embarrassed. Uh, where is this concept coming from? What is this little voice? Oh, I'm too, I don't want to speak out. Oh, he's weird or she's strange or, you know, that's strange. That's odd. That's, that's, oh, that's fantastic. That's lovely. Oh my God, it's amazing. And you believe all these little I don't know, thoughts that kind of label your experience. Isn't that kind of cool that you could recognize that you could actually be living through that voice and recognizing 
you know, step back for a second, step back for a second and just observe yourself and recognize that your mind is labeling and judging everything. And this is a really good day when you rec recognize that. Because liberation, liber liber liberty, 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 liberty is like right there at your fingertips. And that's accepting all of this stuff that comes and goes through you, you know. Um, any kind of thought polarized, it's always going to be polarized because there's good and there's bad, good days, bad days, bad hair day, good hair day, bad clothes, like, oh, she smells, days I smell, days I don't smell, you know. <laughs> These extreme polarized things, but that's beautiful and all the play, so there's nothing wrong with the play for me, I recognize. Because it's happening, like the play is happening, it doesn't really need me. But do I, do I, can I have a possibility to recognize that play and just not follow the stream? That not follow any of the stream of thought, the thought, the flow, the stream of thoughts, thousands and thousands of thoughts you have during the day, if not hundreds of thousands. It's just insanity. And the, and the possibility to recognize that. And what is that? The essence of who you are, I think. And that's a beautiful day because then you can lighten up, choose to be more happy. Even when it's, I'm not, you know, I'm a joy junkie. I'm a joy junkie. I love my bliss and the bliss is being true to who you think you are in the moment. But who you think you are is not who you are. Because that is just impossible. You are something that is so untouched. The part that, that is, you know, do a little experiment. Watch yourself talk. Just watch yourself. Wave your hand. Wave your hand. What is that that recognizes it? You can put it that back here because you know you're waving it. Not because you feel it, but you know there's a part of you that, there's a part of you that's so untouched that knows that it can see you, like you can see you, like I can see, I can be aware of me. That's how I respond or bite my tongue if I want to say something or, you know, or like, um, you know, if you're, you're, you're feeling angry and you want to um, project it onto other people and you bite your tongue, you know, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> From saying it, what part is that that recognizes it? There is a possibility, an invitation that I believe you can not be a slave to that head and you can choose to be just be without any concept or any of that thought or agreeing with the, any of the thoughts even if the thoughts are going crazy or crazy by recognizing your beautiful essence the love the courage the courage not even the courage just to be just be and all of that is the essence of who you are and it's so untouched and it's beautiful and it's the center of I believe it's the center of ourselves and there's so much there's so much potential it's pure potential that is there and it's not controlled by any thought or the illusion of a thought or assumption of a thought that you're good or bad or that you know and 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 feel the vulnerability of being judged by yourself all that stuff that is rising is illusional things it's just arising now I know it's not like for everybody, you know, but it's so beautiful to recognize that life is a stream of events and the stream of events that come passing through your thoughts are going to label all of it. It's so amazing to be able to accept all of that and to feel your, your suffering. And, you know, we all have different backgrounds and, you know, I come from the South and from like, you know, where I'm from and I'm still, you know, what my conditioning, programming, domestication, all that stuff is inevitable, I, I assume assumptions um, but we can we can make changes within ourselves by recognizing our um, automatic responses or our our moods or our illusions but if you can recognize them you're not who that's not who you are because you can recognize it you know what I mean you know what I'm saying but you can really really do that this is my sock I took it off my foot my feet stink <laughs> But there's a possibility, there's a possibility to let go of being, you know, just being somebody. Like, I, I find that uh, for myself so unattractive to try to be somebody. I spent so much of my time trying to be somebody and, and, and be like important. And, and if I wasn't important, it felt so I felt so vulnerable and I don't want to feel that because I was just like, oh my God, I can't feel unworthy. And the most beautiful thing at the moment is unworthiness. To feel unworthy, to be unworthy, to feel 
stupid to feel all these feelings that are illusional feelings because I never ever allowed myself to feel those so much. This is a long time coming because this is a journey. This is a journey of mine that I love to love to share with you because I find social media so, a load of, uh, mostly a load of crap and I'm not there so much. Like I just lately especially it's like I don't know I'd rather just I don't really look at my phone. I don't have that kind of thing, you know. I share. I like to share with you. And I share something, like for me, that's so beautiful. I like to share love, 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 love. And it's amazing, you know, feeling and accepts all of it. And there's potential to, to change if you want to. If you don't, you don't have to. It's a life of your choosing. The invitation that I suggest, that I give to myself, is choosing love over everything and allowing yourself to feel all your feelings and know they're not they're just like the weather changing through you i used to run from these feelings these negative feelings and they always come back and they're they're here they come they go they leave they're they're like i'm in bliss i'm not in bliss i'm like feeling i'm like all of this and you know our society says we'll medicate that like medic but i'm like good i'm like i'm better i'm better at like just being okay with all of that and being being just looking at it and sometimes it's much closer and it feels like i'm hijacked by it and i can still choose love over that and i can choose I can choose. I can choose. I think most people don't even realize they have a choice. Like, not even a choice to actually choose love. Somehow I believe, like, sometimes I feel like, how did we get in this mess? How did I get in this mess? Well, I know by observing myself how I got into this mess. And so I can bless this mess and love this mess and be a mess and not be a victim of the mess and all that stuff. A hurricane of life coming through you and passing through you and it's like oh my god oh my god oh my god let go and just be and surrender like it's surrendering to to everything and to be okay with all of it and to not man, I'm just talking to my peeps you know I love all of you like I love you all because you're mankind and you're worth it like, we're all worth it. I don't know how we got into this mess where we didn't think we weren't worth it. I work with people who, you know, like, sometimes feel fear and just afraid. And I can feel it. And I can feel it in their bodies and, and feel it. It's like there's this reservation. I'm not saying that it's right or wrong. I'm just saying that there's so much beauty. And even in that, even there, in all of it, like, all of it that I witness, which is myself, you know, because I only can recognize it because I know who I am. And keeping this, like, real. And you realize all of this is illusional, all this stuff. But I recognize myself and other people have such compassion because it's so hard. Life is hard. No one said life wasn't going to be hard. And when you stop resisting that, then it's then it's simple. <laughs> it's more simple and feeling this beautiful. As a human being, you know, it's like having all of these emotions come and go, like amazing, amazing. It's an amazing thing. Is it the tapestry of life? It's like uh, all good things come to pass and all negative things and positive it's the flow and the flow of life it's so so beautiful i just want to share that with you today and just you know just just know that every everything past comes and goes the impermanence is impermanent everything is impermanent everything is impermanent everything is impermanent and there's so so much beauty in everything if we just stop and we look and we appreciate and we stop the game, playing the game, and just being loving, loving for yourself and, you know, and lighten up, like, lighten up. And that's for myself, too, you know, because all of this, even me being on the camera and you seeing wherever you're seeing, whatever, it's all illusional. Look at it. What is true? Like, what is true? <laughs> what is true? <laughs> what is true? Love. Love, the source. 
you know, I said, not romantic love because people get confused because they relate it to like dreamy land and fantasy land and you know, relationships and pain. You know, it's pain, like love brings pain. And I'm one to say, like, I don't think so. In my past for myself, you know, I've had relationships in, you know, from seven up to, my first was for six years and the second was for 12 or something, you know, I'm on my, the important ones. You know, I have one instead of one year as well, you know, and I've had many mates. You know, I've experienced a lot of things, you know, that brought this kind of wisdom on and also now I'm with my current one for four years and he's so lovely and I love him so much and we don't fight like we just don't fight because I want him to be who he is and he wants me to be who I am and there's no like you should or could you should or could even so we are who we are and so beautiful to self-support like just completely who I am and you know and I can get annoyed and be in a bad mood and 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 let it let it just be and he's okay with that and fills his oats and does the thing and you know and we support each other in that in the silence of it all and and also the joy and the you know the polaris thing but one thing is untouched is the essence of who you are not your ego not your ego. I'm pointing my finger. I'm pointing my finger. <laughs> Anyhow, um, God bless all of you. I don't know why I said that. I never say God bless you because <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's also, who cares? <laughs> but it's a love, 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 love. It's so beautiful. I just wanted to share. Thank you so much for we watched this far and, and, um, and go out there and, and, Live it all, live it all with courage and respect towards all mankind and all, all things. I love you so much. Take care of yourself. Bye.